When I think about my life, I've truly been blessed. The wins, the championships, the stare. <laughs> you cannot do that look, not even if you try it. Pat Summit was one of the greatest coaches of any sport in any era. I think God's plan for Pat was somehow I, I needed to make a difference for young women. If you're going through the motion, you're not going to win anything. And my avenue, hopefully, through the game of basketball. That's why her diagnosis of Alzheimer's hits so hard. That's why losing her is even harder. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is a special presentation. Pat Summit, a Tennessee treasure. And what a treasure she was. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Burton. Tonight, we are honoring the life of former University of Tennessee Lady Vol head coach and Middle Tennessee native Pat Summit. Let's get right to it. Steve Lehman joins us now live from Knoxville, where the folks on Rocky Top are remembering the legend tonight. Steve? Yeah, John, it's a solemn night here on the Tennessee campus as fans continue to gather here, some very emotional at the Summit Plaza, paying respects to the coach that made the Lady Vols famous. And Pat Summit loved Tennessee, so much so that on a recruiting trip back in 1990, she ordered her pilot to turn the plane around in Pennsylvania because her water broke, and she wanted to make sure she had son Tyler back home in Tennessee. She loved this place and it loves her. Born in Clarksville in 1952, Summit never accepted status quo. She and her family moved to Cheatham County when Clarksville High didn't offer her the chance to play girls basketball. And then she became an All-American at UT Martin in a time when schools still wouldn't offer athletic scholarships to women. But it was as a coach that Summit really left her mark. Taking over a Tennessee program at just 22 years of age, Summit was coaching players just barely younger than she was. Not that it mattered. Her trademark steely glare quickly let them know who was boss. And the Lady Vols won. In a sport judged by NCAA tournaments, Summit's teams never missed one, winning nearly 85% of their games over 38 seasons while building a massive fan base that put women's basketball on the national stage. They were like the Yankees uh, in the sense that there were fans from all over the country that followed Tennessee women's basketball because of Pat Summit. It was because this icon, this, this figure. After a 15-season climb, Summit finally reached the summit in 1987, guiding the Lady Vols to their first ever national championship. She won again in 89 and 91 three straight titles in the mid-90s and captured championships seven and eight back to back in 2007 and eight. Summit was honored as the National Coach of the Year seven times, but perhaps the greatest testament to her work as a coach is the fact that 45 of her former players, including her replacement at Tennessee, Holly Warlick, took the lessons they learned playing for Summit and became coaches themselves. Her coaching tr tree, as they say, there's so many people out there. It's almost a forest and not a tree because there's so many. And it's because she gives them responsibility, so they have known how to take charge, how to lead. In 2011, Pat announced to the world she had been diagnosed with early onset dementia, Alzheimer's type. She was firm about the future of the program she had built. I plan to continue to be your coach. For that reason, I will be relying on my outstanding coaching staff like never before. The fight against the disease was her biggest challenge, but she continued to show her patented tenacity and grace throughout the battle. She was awarded with the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2012 and later presented with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award. I am deeply touched as all of you heard my story. I'm going to keep on keeping on. In 2013, the Hall of Fame coach was honored by the University of Tennessee with the Pat Summit Plaza and Statue, a fitting tribute to the indelible mark she left on the game of basketball. Pat Summit was 64 years old. Take one look at the flowers and balloons and the growing crowd here at Summit Plaza. You understand how universally beloved Pat Summit was. But if you go across the street to Pratt Pavilion, you will find the people who know her the best. Her basketball family who today remembered their legendary coach. You know, this program is about basketball, but I, I think Pat would be really excited to know that 
this group of former Lady Vols are care are caring for each other, making sure each other are okay, and and how are you doing? So, I just think it speaks so highly of um, what Pat started here, um, what she developed outside of basketball. Th throw out everything of basketball. It it, it just speaks of the family atmosphere and the love for each other. She was driven. She was the most driven person I've ever been around. And it was not just on the court, it was off the court as well. I mean, she demanded excellence out of her student athletes. She demanded they go to class. Uh, she demanded that they do what they could on the floor to their utmost ability. And it was a rare um, quality she had that she could chew them upside down during on the court and afterwards She's got her arm around her. They're calling her Pat. She's going, they're going out to her house for dinner. I mean, it was just an amazing relationship that the players and Pat had because of the fact they trusted her so much, and they didn't want to disappoint her. Tributes for Summit figure to continue on for quite some time. Tennessee announcing today they will hold a celebration of life ceremony open to the public at 7 o'clock July 14th at Thompson Bowling Arena. John, the only question is whether Thompson Bowling Arena's 22,000 seats will be enough for the people who want to come pay their respects from near and far for a basketball and Tennessee icon. Steve, thank you so much. A private burial is planned for Coach Summon in Cheatham County. Chris County has been there all day and has more on how a farm girl named Patricia Head became a legendary hometown hero. A legend she was, John. Before she became a coach, she was a player. Her entire family actually moved here to Cheatham County so that she could pursue a dream. Around here, they like to say that Coach Summit never forgot her roots, and it is safe to say that they will never forget her. This is Henrietta. You blink, you're through. It is a town so small that signs don't bother to count population. But one resident of Henrietta, Tennessee, is worthy of a sign all her own. Everybody in this place feels like they knew her, whether they ever met her or not. Tracy Hogan owns the only hair salon here in a building that she rents from Pat Summit's mom. When you go out and you talk to somebody, I can't tell you how many times I've said, you know, Pat had Summit. Well, I live in Henrietta. That's where she's from. This place isn't big enough to have a stoplight, but the winningest coach in all of college basketball still called it home. No matter where you come from, no matter who you are, with hard work and determination, you can do and be anybody you want to be. Her family moved here in the 1960s from Clarksville. There was no girls basketball team there, so Pat's father brought her across county lines to Cheatham County Central so she could play ball. This is a chance of a lifetime. Her unparalleled pursuit of perfection started with the humblest of beginnings. Those signs leading into town aren't the only place Pat Summit left her mark on. And there's such pride when you go in there and you see it painted on the floor. And, and so her death Tuesday morning. Shock. A shock to me. Broke the heart of this town. So they paid tribute in the only way they knew how, with the colors of her beloved Lady Vols. It's a tremendous loss, and we all are just heartbroken because we just feel like we've lost a, a friend. They may not count the population of Henrietta, Tennessee, but Pat Summit helped put this place on the map. She's nothing but a gracious, wonderful lady. And uh, I think she left the world too soon. Every player that Pat Summit coached at UT graduated. Every single one of them throughout the course of 38 years. Just one of the many reasons that she is so beloved here in Cheatham County. John, back to you. Chris, thank you. When it came to advice and life lessons, Pat Summit didn't keep her knowledge only for basketball players. Some of the biggest names on the Vols football program were honored to call Coach Summit their friend. We were uh, at Jasper Highlands in Jasper, Tennessee, and they had dedicated Pat Summit to her. It's a beautiful park kind of area that overlooks the valley there. And um, we had a chance to dance to the, to the Tennessee Waltz. And during that dance, you know, we had a nice conversation. Uh, and, and that was very meaningful, you know. And, and um, I, I'll remember that one forever and pretty special. I um, just am honored to have uh, said that I knew Pat Summon and that she was my friend. Uh, she had a great impact on me and uh, I appreciated her friendship, her support 
of me in my uh, football career. And tonight, the news of the legendary coach's death continues to ripple across the country, including right here in Nashville, where visitors and locals remember Coach Summit's legacy. Never heard anything bad about this lady, and you never will. Um, she held it together better than I'm doing. But Everyone that she spoke about her, and that's where I get emotional. I didn't even know her. And Coach Summit not only impressed her players and peers, but also our nation's president. This is what President Barack Obama had to say about her life. Quote, when she took the helm at Tennessee as a 22-year-old, she had to wash her players' uniforms. By the time Pat stepped down as the Lady Vols head coach, her teams wore eight championship rings and had cut down nets in sold-out stadiums. Dozens of former players rushing to Knoxville when they heard the news of Coach Summit's failing health. The memories, they say, will last them a lifetime. At the Nashville exhibit honoring the life of the winningest coach in college basketball history. Stay with us. We'll be right back.